That refills noise makers or something. This is gonna suck. Oh my. Okay. Nobody heard a fucking thing. It's okay. I messed up. I just need to go back. I didn't die. Everything's fine. Okay. God, my neck hurts. I slept on it funny two nights ago, and now there's this tight muscle in the back left side of my neck, and it fucking sucks. Go. Oh, doo -doo. come on, damn it. <laughs> Continuing up we go. Yeah. Please come to the edge. Please come to the edge. There's a good boy. What? No. All right, fine. You know what? Ow! Can I hold B to stay dodged? Maybe. I don't know. Hey, bitch. Oh, man, that was cool. Can you turn around at any point? That'd be fabulous. Thank you very much. Good God Almighty. Nothing? Do not look down. Okay. Hey, me? Oh! That was a good judgment call by me! Oh my God! Holy shit! No! He saw the body, not me. Okay, I can stay here. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Whew. Oh, that was nerve wracking. I didn't want to say anything. That was stressful. Holy crap, for a moment there I thought they saw me, but no, they just detected the body. Quickly, whoop, there we go. Perfect. I see the guys with the crossbows. Is that, yeah, the guys with the crossbows have a longer range of vision. I understand now. There. Scroll two, I wanna read. While she was still a child, Xiao Jun witnessed the execution of Liu Jin, leader of the Tigers, a small group of powerful and influential eunuchs. The Zhangdi, Zhangdi Emperor, I believe, had found proof of Liu Jin's plot to assassinate him and had the traitor tortured using the Ling Shi technique, also known as Death by a Thousand Cuts, which is what Xiao Jun actually told Ezio about. Many small cuts, then death. The eunuch's agony lasted for two days. And the young Xiao Jun would never forget the punishment for betraying the Emperor. Although Liu Jin had been stealing considerable amounts of gold and silver from the taxes, he was betrayed and entrapped by one of his own men, Sang Yong, an agent of the Templars, and his successor as the head of the Tigers. Oh, snap. Dissension in the ranks! Classic. Thank you very much, sir, for turning around. Okay, you can do that if you want to shout. Hello! I want to fight. <laughs> I do like jumping off their back like that. Fatality! Alright, I just wanted to do that. Yep! I'm getting so many brawlers now just because I want to fight. Oh! Okay, let's not be so hasty there. Can I synchronize or have I already. Okay, leap of faith. Fine. Whee! Cutsy, sweet. I really like the art style. Is it done? Gao Feng is dead, Yuki. As is Ma Yong Chen. The butcher. Good. Our plan worked. Who's next? Patience, sister. We must move carefully. Zhang Yong and his tigers. Zhang Yong, Zhang Yong, whatever the fuck. 
Bioshock reference. You said little sister. I couldn't resist. <laughs> All right, let's see what. So I didn't master any of them, which is okay. I did get the secondary objective, so that's cool. Um, gold seven. Yeah, so basically, assassin was my thingy majig. That's cool. I did get the sync point. I missed one shard again! Fuck! And I got all the chests! Son of a bitch! I'm so close to 100%ing these levels on the first try. Son of ass! Oh well. Increase the distance of eagle vision, allowing Xiao Jin to see more of her surroundings. Left stick to move the assassin left or right. Underhang. Oh, sweet! Oh, that's cool! Awesome! And they even have a replay memory option at the end, so if you didn't do as well as you wanted, you could go back. <gasps> Very nice. By day, a bustling port. By night, a hub for the Templars to trade those who oppose them into slavery. Oh, that is cruel. I have located the box, Xiao Jun. It's in the possession of Yu Deong, another of Zhang Yong's tigers. Yu the Deong. one they call the Slaver. How so fitting. responsible for this cruelty. I shall pay him a visit. Yes, I'd like next. To, sister. The Templars are searching all ships and cargo. They are looking for us now. I know you can kill these lesser men with ease, but I would suggest you remain invisible, a ghost, until you find your target. As you say, Sifu, I believe was your name? 1526, Macau. Xiao Jun begins the hunt for her next target, Yu Deyong. She'll have to move through her through the Templar forces, searching the moored ships and patrolling the portside docks to reach the edges of the Tiger's Fortress. Wow, that's a lot of upgrades. Increase Helix Bar. Awesome. Helix Bar? That's not my health bar, is it? What's the Helix Bar? <gasps> Kill the three Templar informants. Reach the deck of the Portuguese cargo ship. Kill three Templar informants. How do I know if they're informants? Will they be yellow by any chance? I'm assuming I can climb the nets. Indeed I can! Alright. Alright, I'm on board a ship now. It's exciting. Tread lightly. Some floors make sounds that can raise enemy alarms. What is that? That yellowness. I guess that's just telling me that That sucks. Wait! Okay, I'll take it. I'll do that. Anything over this way? Nothing? Really? Meh. Thought I, f thought I was on something cool. Never mind then. Oh, fuck. Okay. Crouch to stay silent. Okay, gotcha. The wind inside a ship. Yeah, that makes sense. No! Damn it, woman. Oof. Oh my god. Holy shit. He almost saw me. That was frightening. Okay. How does that help me? Oh, I see. And then, if I hold left tri- I guess not, okay. Yeah! There we go. Alright, this is awesome. Woo! Probably, probably should move before he looks down, okay.
Hello. Goodbye. Kill everything. Okay. <gasps> I wonder how I can tell an informant from the rest of the guards. Ooh, there's a chest down there. Oh, there it is. Use bamboo curtains as a hideout. Oh, I see. And curtains. Wait, I only read the first part of that. Okay. What? Jesus fucking. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Up, 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 up. How on earth? Okay, that's how on earth. Okay. Finish him. There we go. Oh, I hit B. That's bullshit. I, 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 uh, I may have panicked a little bit. Just a little. <laughs> ah, I didn't see these here before. What? I like how the guards speak in Chinese. That's really cool. Oh, oh my God. Ow! Oh, friendly fire, bitch! Ow! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was doing really well there until I decided to move in the curtains. Position myself directly. Perfect. After Gao Fang and Ma Chong and Chen, my Yao Hao Ye Ju Dai. Oh my God! Are the assassins really back? No answer. All right, that's cool. Okay. Well, fuck. <laughs> Oh, there's a chest up here. I want to go get it. Got it! Scroll 3. Let's read more about Xiao Jun, shall we? Database. By the age of 13, through Xiao Jun's talents and Zheng Di's affection for her, she had risen to the rank of Imperial Concubine. <laughs> what an honor! She was poised to become Imperial Consort or even Empress, along with another girl named Zhang, who was her best friend. Uh... Even then, Xiao Jun had never visited her emperor's bed, since he preferred the intimate company of prostitutes and other ladies he invited in. The emperor fancied himself to become a warlord and went to fight the Mongols in the north, who were regularly raiding Chinese territory. Xiao Jun was one of the few concubines he took along with him on his expeditions, to serve mostly as spy, and finally, for his personal leisure. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah. That's nice. Doing with my That's gonna be a problem. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that was close. Oh. Okay. Hey! Okay, Shima! Okay, Shima! Oh, get out here! It's not working! Okay, 